welcome everyone to Race Face TV. Tonight's a very historic show. Number one, you're, you may be viewing this on our new RaceFace.tv site, but I know that you're viewing the very first episode. There will only be one of Who's Next? A great show where we're going out and highlighting young talent from all over the country. And tonight, we're going up to Alpharetta, Georgia, where we find six-year-old David Marino, who is a quarter midget racer. So David, how are you doing this afternoon? Great. Who's that beside you right there? Daddy. That's Daddy. your dad. All right. Is he your number is he your number <laughs> one fan? I know yeah. he's probably let me get see if I I've been to enough quarter midget races to know that he's your number one fan. He's probably providing the money. <laughs> he's a push truck. He's the mechanic. Yeah. And he's the race coordinator. Did I cover all those bases? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, I've been there. Yeah. I'd say that the hardest working people <laughs> in racing are the parents of quarter midget racers because you guys, right. you guys are incredible. So, David, at what age did you actually start racing? Five. You're five years old. So you've been racing almost a year then, right? I see you got some almost. hardware, you got some hardware in, the, in your background. So tell Thank us you. something that most people wouldn't know about you so what I'm really talking about is tell us something about you that you want people to know when you're not on the track. I like watching YouTube. You like watching, so you're a tuber. Do you have anything special yeah. you like watching on YouTube? What is it? Is it Share the Love, FTG? Now what <laughs> so you like watching Share the Love. All right, what you're supposed to be saying now you're supposed to say race face TV. That's my favorite YouTube right. show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do yeah, a little. Awesome. So we're going to do a little segment now that is called "Get to Know David in 60 Seconds." So are you ready? I do. Let's do it. All right. So what's your favorite food? Waffles. Food. Waffles. What's your favorite video game? Master Two. Now the question is that I I want to ask you. If you and dad are racing, who's going to win? I. <laughs> You're going to beat him. All right. Dad, do you, is, is that correct? Is he, can he beat you at NASCAR? Sad but, sad but true. Sad, sad but true. true. <laughs> I know. I have, some, I have some nephews. It's very, very frustrating. Okay. So what <laughs> is your favorite color? Nature's color. That's the best. Nature's color. Nature's color. Oh, I got that now. I was like. Yeah. I was waiting for the red or blue or what nature's color. Awesome answer. What's your favorite TV show? Twin Turbos. Twin oh. Turbos. Twin Turbos. Tell me why you like Twin Turbos. Because Joey's in it. Because Joey Logano's in it. Oh, I see that. Okay. Well, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be interesting to see with this next question that I have for you. So. Who is your favorite NASCAR driver? Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott. Who's your favorite superhero? Batman. Batman. And do you have a pet? Yeah. And what kind of pet do you have? German Shepherd. A German, German Shepherd. Shepherd. All right. Very cool. Do you take the German Shepherd to the races with you? Always. She's our, she's our trailer dog. She just sits in a trailer and watches us work on a car watches you work on the car. So she's protecting that investment there. Oh yeah, I hope uh, so. You Somebody's hope so. got to. <laughs> Good deal. All right, so let's talk real quickly about your quarter midget racing career. It may be short, but like I said, you got, I see a lot of hardware behind you, a lot of trophies, a lot of medals. Um, so let's talk about the one that I see sitting there because I see Daytona on it. And anytime that you go to Daytona, it's got to be something special. So tell me a little bit about the race in Daytona. It was cool. It was you cool. Tell me you won on the last lap. It was. I saw the white. Look at the top. I saw the white. Do it up high, and I went down low in lap traffic, and then I took the checker. Yep. You he took, took the, the checker on the last lap. Awesome. On the man. last lap. And so. Down the back stretch. So, Dad, did you almost have like a heart attack? I can tell you right now, I have the video on our Facebook page, and if you see the video, I've jumped higher than any man my size should ever jump. 
I mean, it was incredible. Uh, when you say, when you talk about a moment as a dad that, uh, you know, that'll just blow your mind and you just see it, the, a kid at his age do that. I mean, it just, I mean, it was, as a dad, it was probably one of the most incredible moments ever that I, I was ever able to be a part of. And, you know, that's what's keeping us in the sport is moments like that. Yeah, you know, I mean, I can remember back, back of- I can remember back when Dale Jr. won, won his first race. And I, I think that Dale Sr. probably at that moment was more excited about anything in his race oh, career than Junior being in Victory Circle. So that's very cool. It's very cool. And that's one of the great things about racing. It's so family oriented. And uh, yeah. so, uh, so share with us a little bit more about maybe some other memorable races that you've had. Show us third place in the Fall Nationals. Third place in the Nationals. He did the Fall Nationals in North Carolina for Thanksgiving and got third place overall. Awesome. Way to go. And where was that race actually ran at? Um, it was, it, it, nope, it was raced in North, Georgia, uh, North Carolina, quarter midget, NCQMA. Okay, was that at GoPro Motorplex or was that a different track? Or No, it was at, it was at the North Georgia quarter midget speedway. Over, oh, okay. Uh, it's right, right outside of Charlotte and Salisbury. Awesome. Awesome. So, man, third place in the racing capital of the world, you know, if you're, especially if you're a NASCAR or stock car fan, I mean, North Carolina is where it's all at. Oh, yeah, this was a good one. And then your other big win was his first feature win, a main feature win was at the New Smyrna 500, where he took third place overall there, too, and got his first feature win ever. Awesome, man. That's awesome. You know what? There's a lot of big NASCAR names that have ran at New Smyrna, a lot of big names. Matter of fact, we had one of our young drivers down there this year uh, that's driving for Dale Jr. Motorsports, Sam Mayer, who was competing in that World Series of stock car racing. So do, do you got plans of going back there and running actually on the big track at New Smyrna? He's me. You want to go back and run on that big track at New Smyrna? So you run late models you there. You could run K&N cars cool. there. That'd be, that'd be cool. Okay, so here's the next question. The next question is, what sacrifices have you made to actually be able to pursue your racing? I know there's a lot of times when maybe your friends are going to birthday parties or they're doing other things that you've got to be like, hey, man, I got to go race. So are, are you giving up some of that stuff? And is it worth, worth doing all of that? Tell them, tell them what you're doing next year. You're going to what? You're going to homeschool? I'm going to homeschool. You're going to homeschool because your traveling keeps you out of out of class and stuff like that yeah so he said he was gonna take it upon himself and he wanted to homeschool so that he could spend more time practicing at the racetrack and still get an awesome education so he's gonna do a homeschool program through through the state of georgia so that um he's still gonna have a teacher and everything but he's able to travel more and he's able to spend some more time honing in on his skills that's awesome that's awesome i've got i got probably 90 percent of my drivers that are still in school are doing exactly the same thing so good move dad Okay, so I probably already know this question, but who are your biggest supporters? <laughs> Nature's Color. Nature's Color, they're, so they're a sponsor. And then I'm, I know you've got your dad as a big supporter. Who else supports your racing? Mommy. Mommy, so you know what? Mom's very important because I know if you're like a lot of households, she's the one that lets you guys do this. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Exactly. She's the yeah, she's the decider of who's racing this weekend and who's not. That's right. Okay. Right? <laughs> so uh, let's what talk just a about? little bit about your 2018 plans. What do you got planned for this year? To win the Georgia State Series. To win the Georgia State Series. Okay. He said he wants to win the Georgia State Series. He's going to take on the Summer Series, and he wants to have a top three finish in the Dixie Shootout. There you go. That's some pretty right. that's some pretty good goals, man. And you know what? Here's the one thing I'll share with you. If you don't have goals, you'll never reach them. So set your exactly. goals high. And, and don't be disappointed if you don't get them because at the end of every race, the one thing that you got to look at is you got to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, did I do a good performance? Because a lot of times your <laughs> results do not dictate what your performance was. I've seen a lot of drivers that have gone in and, and uh, you know, they've come up and, and they're, they're like, hey, I had to start last because I had a bad qualifying or somebody spun me out mm-hmm. early in the race. And then they come back and race themselves into third or fourth place. 
and they feel like, well, I didn't get the result that I wanted, but in most cases, those performances might have been the best performance of their young racing career. So always remember that. It's about your performance, not about your results. Yep. I always tell them that's one big thing. I say, as long, you know, I don't care where you finish as long as you try the whole entire time. Absolutely. Because you never know what can happen. Racing is unpredictable. So now we're going to talk about where, what are your ultimate racing goals? If, if, this, if you were 20 years old, where do you want to be racing at? I think I know the answer, but I want to hear it from you. NASCAR. NASCAR. All right. Very cool. And so you're going to, you're willing to go up through that ladder to go through, you know, uh, stock car racing, get in some late models and then get into, you know, maybe the truck series or the K and N and then into the, to the nationwide series. But by the time you get there, they'll probably have all new names for all these different series. But, that's a, right. that's a very, very, very good goal to have. And you understand that it's, that it's this type of stuff that we're doing right now can separate you from yeah. the rest of the drivers that are out there. So for all of you young drivers that are actually watching this show tonight, here's one thing that I'll share with you. What you do off the track is just as important as what you do on the track. So take advantage of the opportunities to get in front of the camera, to practice. I mean, stop and think about it. The first time that you're on camera is probably not going to be your best time. But guess what? The first time that you are on the racetrack with the car, a lot of times you're going around taking your first couple of laps and you're going, man, that wasn't very good. But once you got about 20 or 30 laps under your belt, then you came out and go, man, I'm getting pretty good at this. So, so the media side of it is absolutely no different. So let me ask you a question, David. What do you like to do when you're not racing? Play. Play? So what do you like to play? I mean, do you, do you play other sports or are you just like really kind of goofing around with your friends? Play with my friends. Play with your friends. So what do your friends think about you being a race car driver? Do they think that's pretty cool? Most of his friends are race car drivers. Most of, <laughs> you know what? I get when that I tell in, you he has more friends at the track than he does anywhere else, that is a true statement. I get He's that a lot. He's made some of the best friends at the track. I get that a lot. I was out at the uh, out of one of the Grands in Las Vegas last year, and it, it really kind of blew me away, the camaraderie between the kids and even the parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one was there. You see a car spin out or something. I mean, you might see five dads or five moms pushing cars or helping yeah. out putting chains back on. I mean, it, it's incredible. You guys have an unbelievable fraternity inside of that quarter midget racing thing. So before we go tonight, do you want to talk about any other sponsors that you have besides Nature's Colors? Because we see that in the background already. <laughs> so who do, we, who do we say we want to thank? We want to, we want to thank our other sponsors. We have TriStar Racewear, who's making him an awesome new suit that he should have here shortly, right? All his photos are taken professionally by our other sponsor, David Medina Photography. Um, we also like to put a big thank you to Robbie Stanley Racing because that's uh, they've created an amazing car that has gotten us very, very far and has kind of changed his career. Um, yeah, who else? Jody Racing. Jody Talent Racing because Jody's put in a lot of hard work and seen a lot in this young man to help him out. And who else? Who makes our car go fast? Baker Racing Engines for making Baker our car go fast. All righty. Very cool. So now, if you're watching out there, before we started the show, he said that he wanted his future sponsor to be Napa. So if you're somebody out there in the Napa marketing department, you may want to check out yeah. this young man's website, check out his Facebook page, and get a hold of them. Well, David, I want to thank you for being on the show. Dad, thanks for being there as his support mechanism like thank you guys you. are all, all the time. I want to thank all the people for viewing, again, our very first show for Who's Next. So I want to thank all of you for tuning in. And as always, we leave our show with one thing. Go out and support racing in your local communities because that's the best thing that you can do. And we'll see you back here next week on Who's Next.